I think the legacy of uh, the Luala Community Alliance is one of hope. The initiative of Luala started as an idea. It became a reality which is much bigger than any of our dreams. To know that this story from a small local community in Western Kenya is now having a ripple effect and affecting you know, the world at large. I think my parents and uh, my village would be proud. The community and community decision making is at the core of our model. This thing began because a group of community members thought that it was unjust and intolerable um, that they wouldn't have access to health care. Rather than waiting for someone to come and provide that health care for them, they came together and devised this plan to have a hospital and to have health services, education services, and economic services that radiate from that idea. Today, that has remained the core of our model. Luwata has focused on individuals, on families, on community. They've been able to adapt a model that is community-led, with community health workers, with not just a, a physician or just a nurse, but community health workers coming together to reach people at their level, to engage them, to pull them into a system, and to go into their homes to deliver that care. Luwala's community health worker model is a great example of what can happen when community members are at the forefront of designing their own solutions. They identified traditional midwives, women in the community who have been delivering health to their neighbors for generations, but who have been cut off from the formal health system and the science and resources that it provides. They saw these midwives as a key solution to their own health challenges. As a result, Lawala recruits, trains, supervises, and pays these midwives as community health workers. Lawala brought them in as the frontline workers of the formal health system, and they're pushing incredible health outcomes for women and children. Our under five mortality compared to that of the region, Nyanza province, we've been able to cut that by almost 64%. The cycle of death has been broken in our, our community and that is a cause for celebration. These are not just numbers. These are my people. These are the people of Luala. These are our children. These are our parents. These are our families. Knowing that now there's so many mothers who will see their babies born without HIV. Now to know that kids can celebrate many more years with their parents, uh, knowing they won't be losing their parents and becoming HIV AIDS orphans. And it's, it's just a blessing to see people feeling empowered in the community. So from where we, in terms of the, the Luwala concept have come, it's been huge. But then if you look over the next 10 years, those goals are even, even greater to take that catchment area of 30,000 people and make it a million people over the next 10 years. I can think of no better investment in terms of supporting a community to lift people up in global health, and global health meaning this sort of oneness of humanity. It's been demonstrated to work. It's the same leaders, increasing number of supporters, increasing number of volunteers, and the growth we've seen over the last 10 years almost can be guaranteed for the next 10. What's to say that the children of uh, Loala uh, can use their dreams to then impact transformation not only for Loala village but for the one million people living in Mikori.